rubber balls. So almost 1200 employees of rubber balls, uh, they took our courses and that was a big uh, push for us. And after that, we started seeing a uh, surge in the demand of skilling and courses in the whole e-mobility domain. Uh, mostly from foreign countries. So, uh, we started seeing a surge in the demand of e uh, courses in India as well. And thanks to ASDC, I think Arindam Lanisar and the whole team of ASDC sitting here, they have been a great help uh, for organizations like us to bring us on platform like this. And uh, you know, our our work uh, has to be recognized. Uh, you know, in India, with some of the some of the government uh, author, authorizing agencies, I mean, they they are basically validating our curriculum, our uh, whatever program we are running on on our online platform and offline. So after COVID, uh, we sort of felt uh, that uh, there is a need not just for online programs. We also had this that there are certain strata of people who are looking for uh, courses in uh, maintenance, repair and servicing of electric vehicles. So we uh, started on a pilot basis to run uh, certified electric vehicle technician program at our center in Delhi and to our great surprise our first batch in which we uh, largely taken almost 30 students from northern India, uh, from Bihar and uh, Jharkhand and uh, Uttar Pradesh region. They all uh, got placed after one month of training at our center. And after that we felt that yes, it is actually something that every other dealership which is going to open in next 5-6 years would be requiring uh, a uh, certified technician, a service engineer uh, who can validate the service capability of any OEM, right, who is, who is going to uh, launch their EV brand. And from there, you know, we have now uh, programs running in Pune. Uh, we, have, we have recently collaborated uh, with the government of Karnataka to launch uh, ITI uh, based program uh, for upskilling in the technician uh, uh, domain lastly. So this is all what uh, has been happening. Uh, at DIY Group, if you speak about uh, the challenges that we are facing right now in the EV domain, mostly on the upskilling, is uh, largely attributed to the awareness and to counter that and to make sure that people uh, get aware about this. There is a lot of uh, activities that needs to be done in engineering colleges. And to our surprise, I think after COVID, uh, recently you must have read an article from uh, Ram Gopal, now IIT Delhi uh, 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 chairman, that uh, you know most of the colleges in mechanical domain have started shutting down because uh, students are not taking up mechanical courses; they are uh, relying on computer science. So what I uh, see here is that uh, this particular domain is going to be very interdisciplinary. Uh, most of the working professional that comes to our platform have done mechanical engineering program back in 2015-16. And we see that uh, it's not very tough for us to uh, give them brief idea on the EV domain, largely on the research and development. Uh, uh, which is consisting of your battery, motor, controllers, uh, charging infrastructure and all. So, uh, we, have, we have also partnered with uh, AICT to launch uh, our program in almost 200 colleges across India uh, who are having electrical, uh, electronics, engineering, computer science students who can pursue our master's courses for free of cost. So we have partnered with ASDC and AICT together and we are working on that domain. We have created a course of 20 hours and uh, that is acting like a, you can say, crash course on EV and that will be given for free to all these engineering students 
so that they can have a feel and idea on what is that uh, they are going to study in future. And uh, uh, I think we are, we are largely against the commercialization of uh, education in India. We have seen that uh, students who are taking courses and programs, mostly the PG, PG programs and all, they are paying almost 2 to 0.5 lakh rupees to undergo this sort of program which again for that they have to take loans. There is already a loan, education loan they have taken for their engineering study. Now if, you know, again they have to take loan that is going to be a very difficult uh, side for the students. And to counter that, we have uh, largely kept the price of our courses at almost one-fifth, one-sixth of the price what industry is currently offering. So our courses, uh, comes uh, at this price because of the, uh, you can say, the optimization that we have done in our team. And uh, lastly, uh, you know, we are, we are not looking on a, on a very huge margin, rather than uh, our aim is that uh, by 2025, we would have uh, upskilled at least a million people in EV industry. Currently, we have upskilled 56,000 400 students from our platform and uh, uh, most of them are already absorbed by industry some way or the other uh, because I said you know countries like South Africa, Germany, Brazil uh, they constitute almost 30 percent of our total audience. I look forward that in next two three years uh, we will be able to upskill uh, you know, larger chunk of students in the Indian uh, country, I mean, uh, in, in India as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.